three homes on fire, sending clouds of smoke into the air. Good evening to you. I'm Sharif Lello. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. The fire is now out, but crews are still there on the scene on Irvin Terrace in Dayton, Kentucky. WLWT News 5's Emily Wood is also there with the latest on the fire. Emily. Mike and Sharif, about 50 minutes ago, we had the chance to talk with the fire chief with Bellevue and Dayton Fire. Uh, Michael O'Terry, he says that the arson team has been called in to this scene to check into this fire, but he says that is standard procedure anytime there's a fire of this size. You can take a look behind me. It is still a very active scene tonight. The center home where firefighters are still tonight. They are looking to figure out where this fire might have started. They think it might have started in the rear. The fire, though, was able to get all the way through the roof. If you take a look at this video that a viewer sent to us earlier, Tonight, you can see flames shooting out of this roof of this home here on Irvin Terrace in Dayton, Kentucky. The homeowner, luckily not home at the time of this fire. Fire chief tells us that he does live alone, and he left about 2.30 this afternoon, and the fire broke out at about 4.30. There were people home, though, in each of the neighboring houses to the left and to the right of this home, but the fire chief tells me that everyone was able to make it safely out and no injuries have been reported. The Red Cross, though, has also been called in to assist these four people across these four homes because these homes are not inhabitable tonight. The Red Cross will be helping them find a place to stay. We also got some video earlier tonight of a cat that was rescued from one of the homes, a firefighter found a cat hiding inside the wall of one of the neighboring homes, obviously trying to escape from this fire. That cat was treated. I've been battling with is the weather, the cold temperatures, and the slick conditions. As they're using water, of course, it's sliding down this slope street and creating icy spots. They've been putting down salt and trying to make it as safe as possible. Reporting live tonight in Dayton, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. Right, and just like Emily is saying.